Hey guys! So welcome back to my channel and for today's video I am going to be reviewing most of the new um, Urban Decay Beached collection. I have the eyeshadow palette, the bronzer that I thought would suit my skin, and then two of the three lip products that was in the collection. Um, I'm so excited about this video because the collection is like my colors through and through. Um, don't forget if you like these product review videos, please get the <laughs> please give this video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit that big subscribe button down below to support me. I would love it. And yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. I have my base of my foundation and face set and everything, and we're just gonna go ahead and dive into this eyeshadow palette and these lip products. I did already apply bronzer because I forgot that I had bought a bronzer, but you know what, let's just swatch these first and then we'll uh, try it all on. How's that sound? Before I get you so zoomed in, you can't see the swatches. Anyways, so this is, the outside of the palette looks like that. And then I love the packaging, how it opens up and it's like a box that opens up. I think it's so cool. And you have a big mirror on the top and then these are the shades. I think, oh my gosh, they're absolutely stunning. I'm so excited for these. And I cannot wait to be able to use them. And then I got the bronzer in the shade Bronzed. I also love the packaging. I love the palm trees on everything. This is such a pretty color. I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh, and it is so velvety. So smooth. I'm in love with that shade. So pretty. Love it. And then I got two lip colors. They offered this like orangey red shade in the collection and I knew I would just never wear that so I ended up getting the other two called Heat Wave and then Tower One. These are so beautiful. Just so beautiful. And look at that packaging y'all. Would you check that out and just admire that for just one minute please? Like come on now Urban Decay. So this is, um, this is Heat Wave. Here's what it looks like. Isn't that just beautiful? And they, oh my gosh. This is the first time swatching this. You know what the worst thing is? Is messing up a new bullet lipstick. Like, y'all know that feeling? Is whenever you swatch a new bullet lipstick and then it's just not perfect anymore. Hate that feeling. And then this one is called Tower One. Here's what it looks like. It is a very pretty, it has, it does have um, shimmer in it. They both kind of have a shimmery look, but this one has more of a, like a, a glitter in it. Oh, they're so beautiful. This, I think, would be pretty over, like, a matte colored, like, just a matte plain color lipstick, and then put this over it. I think it'd be really pretty. So, that's those two swatched there. So pretty. I'm loving it. I know that, um, Heat Wave is gonna be my favorite out of everything. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch, um... I'm just going to do all the shades here in the palette. Well, you know, I'm just going to do five and then I'll just insert swatches of all of them. I'm going to do the five that I think are like <coughs> so pretty. Oh man, the pigment on these are just so beautiful. 
Even the matte shade is swatching good, y'all. Wow, Urban Decay. And like, I love the Urban Decay X Crystal Leanne palette. So I kind of knew that I already liked the Urban Decay formula. I haven't gotten any of the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I've never been a fan of... <clears throat> Sorry, I've never been a fan of the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I think they're plain. I think they're boring. And I think it's a waste of money. But that is fully my opinion, y'all. But these are the swatches of some of the shades in the palette. I think they're beautiful. And I personally cannot wait to try them on. So let's just go ahead and dive on into the tutorial and yeah, I'll get you guys zoomed in here. Alrighty guys, so I've got you all zoomed in so we can be close and personal. And so I'm just going to go ahead and dive right on in and something is bugging my eye. I think it's a piece of lint. Anyways, so first, there goes the lights. Alright, we can officially get started now. <laughs> so first, I'm just going to dive into the shade called Salt. It's just a white, it's uh, just a nice matte like setting shade. And I'll tell you what guys, I am so glad that whenever palettes include a nice matte creamy setting shade. That way you can use that to set your concealer on your eyes, which I've kind of already set mine with my setting powder that I put on my face. And I'm just gonna go over this with this shade first. And literally, I was just literally applying that all over the face. Alrighty. So, I think I'm going to go with a sheer bronzy look for this eye look. So I'm just going to dive right into the shade called Daybreak there. I'm loving these shades in this palette so much. Like these coppers and these blues. If you could, <laughs> if you could define my eye looks, it would be coppery shades, brown shades, and blue. I love putting blue. If you guys have not checked out my Crystal Leanne Kaleidoscope tutorial, I'm going to link it up above there. You should go check it out because I did a, a blue look in it. So <laughs> I don't want to like do the same thing in this video and y'all be like, you just did a video like that. So that's why I'm thinking I wanted to do more of like a, I'm going to say, I'm going to call this like a sun goddess look. That's what we'll call this. So I'm just working in this shade all into the crease. Just warming that up. And I'm loving this double-ended Luxie brush. It's the 249, y'all, by the way. Because literally, I use this to work my crease, use this to buff out. It's just so convenient. Whoever thought this up, I swear they were a genius. So I worked all that into the crease. And now I'm just buffing that out to not have such a harsh crease, harsh crease line. Man, y'all, I cannot talk today. This is awful. I just realized I have foundation on my lips there. Oh well. So then I'm just going to dive into this. Uh, I guess this shade called Wedge here. I'm going to then just kind of work that into the outer V here. I'm just using this shade to kind of create a smoky eye look. having a little bit of fallout but it's 
not nothing I'm not used to with Urban Decay shadows. They kind of have a little bit of fallout, but they're so pigmented and just so nice. Alrighty, so now that that is on, I'm going to go into the shade called 16th Street and I'm just going to use my finger and apply that all over my lid. Wow. These shadows are amazing. Wow. I don't think I really have a gold this color. I mean, I feel like I do, but... I feel like these colors all just really go... They just really go good together. You know what I mean? Like, when a palette's designed, I feel like... They kind of all design the colors to kind of like mesh together. <clears throat> I'm really liking how this eye look turned out. So now I'm just blending the lid shade with the crease shade. I'm just going to take a little bit more of Daybreak, that crease shade, on my brush when I'm trying to blend those two colors together and then just kind of work a little bit of that back into the crease. Because I felt like a little bit of it kind of just disappeared. Yeah, I'm having some fallout, y'all. But that's okay. That's why we've got the giant powder brush. And I'm also realizing I did not apply highlighter yet today. Hmm. Oh well. Alrighty, so then I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the eyes by... I'm going to go into the shade called Plunge, which is more this navy blue color. And I'm just going to pop that right on the lower lash line. I think that's going to be really pretty. Oh, wow. This is... I probably was out of the view there. <laughs> I was trying to lean forward to see my mirror. This is beautiful, y'all. Okay, if you guys have not invested into this palette, I recommend it. Wow. <coughs> These shades. I do not have a color like this. This one called Plunge. This navy blue color. Alrighty, so then I'm just going to take this fluffy Glamour Dolls brush that I got in my glam bag and then I'm just going to kind of try to buff out that line a little bit. I find this brush works so good because it kind of has a little bit of a point, but it's so nice. I don't even feel like applying liner that this looks... Anyways, I am going to go and apply liner, and I'm probably just going to cut this out of the video. <laughs> I'm going to be using my Pretty Vulgar Ink Pot Liner with this um, Aesthetica brush that we got in our glam bags. I'm loving this liner. Alrighty, now that, that took like 10 years. <laughs> Don't you love how eyeliner just takes forever to put on? I'm just going to go ahead and put on some mascara. 
and y'all don't want to watch this because it's just boring. Alrighty guys, we have managed to finish up the eyes. I'm just gonna go and let my bangs do their thing now. I am loving this eye look right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the shade Heat Wave for my lip product in the collection. This one I think is going to be my new fave. I think it's going to match this eye look. Alrighty, so that is the finished lip. I think it is just beautiful. I'm not about liners, y'all. And so I don't really apply liners, like lip liners. I'm not a fan of it. Don't think I ever will be. <laughs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, tutorial, trying on new products, makeup review. Even though I didn't get to play around with the bronzer, I think it's going to be really nice. The shade seems to be perfect and it's very sheer because I'd already applied bronzer in my face. But I hope you guys enjoy this and don't forget that you are absolutely stunning. Bye guys! So if you haven't subscribed already, then click the icon in the middle. Or if you want to watch another great video, then click the one on the left or the one on the right.